It really changed my life, like I can cry right now, like I feel like crying. <laughs> my vlog i am on my way to leia where you at come out here and vlogging i'm taking leia to get something that she really wanted we are going to be going to where are we going we're going from our first tattoo at the black ink crew we are going to black ink crew to get leia's first tattoo <laughs> are you nervous I got Don't act like you're nervous. I'm <laughs> going to get her reaction on camera, so that's why I'm vlogging it. Tell them how old you are. I'm 17, last week 18 in two more months. Yeah, she's 17. She can't wait to turn 18. Oh, Lord. I was actually her age when I got my first tattoo. I'm going to do the honors, taking her to get her first tattoo. I was going to take her to where I usually go. But, I mean, I think the guy was booked and busy. He wasn't answering me, so oh, whatever. On to the next. Hopefully, they do a good job and there's no regrets. And it's really affordable. So, let's go. You ready? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. Peace out. You want to get away. We don't need a plan. Hey, guys. First of all, long time no see. I haven't posted a video in about... A week i wanted to just come on and say happy new year's to everyone i hope you guys are just getting ready to start the year off right yeah i want to just start the new year off in a positive way and be more productive in 2020 i hope to achieve all of my goals and i always want to send out positivity to everyone that i meet or that i know in my life so try to make 2020 a great year you know do everything you wanted to do in 2019 even better and bigger in 2020 try not to hold grudges I'm trying to get like my whole little i got this scarf on my head <laughs> sorry always try to better yourself and that's one of my um goals is to always become a better person a better version of myself to just grow and learn every day I never, ever, ever want to stop learning. I always want to have an open mind to learn new things, be a positive, better version of me. My most biggest accomplishment in 2019 was seeing my daughter get accepted and have a full scholarship to go to college, which, what? What? You go, girl. Like, my daughter, she always surprises me. She is so smart, so talented. And she just makes me so proud. And yeah, I get to be a part of that. I get to see her grow and be more amazing in life. And I'm just so happy that she's in my life. She's just like my biggest light in my world. <laughs> I accomplish traveling internationally, going to see the world and getting my passport, um, getting my car. I was able to pay off all of my tickets on my car and purchase a car for the first time in my name like a legit i was just so proud of that yes um i was going through a lot of things and you know life changes and i manifested my happiness again and i was able to like get a great job and great opportunities started coming to me because i started putting my intentions into what i really wanted i learned if you change your mindset you can accomplish so much more than you think you can it's really mostly up to you and i'm such a huge advocate of sharing that with people because it changed my life like seriously it really changed my life like i can cry right now like i feel like crying <laughs> i feel like i get so emotional when i talk about that because i thought that i was just not capable of obtaining certain things but once I stopped thinking that way, I was able to get what I was asking for. One thing I would say is be careful what you ask for because, you know, you can think you want something, but when you get it, baby girl, can you handle it? Is the question really because we have asked for things that we thought we wanted or needed. And when we get it, we were just 
didn't expect everything that came with that so i would say be careful what you ask for set your intention just be mindful all the time of people places things take care of your mental health everyone take care of your mental health as much as we live in this social media world everyone perceives things differently of course but like i would just say your health is a part of you so take care of it i digress now hello hi guys good morning rise and shine today is a new day today is a new year this is my first official vlog of 2020 <laughs> guys i've been taking a little break from youtube and i've just been trying to see where i want my channel to go how i want it to be and just figuring things out with that but i'm back and i wanted to vlog today because today i am on my way to the dentist i'm actually running late right now i'm actually about to run outside i wanted to come on and vlog and start the vlog off let you guys know what i'm up to for the day i'm off to the dentist to connecticut and i'm going to be getting two wisdom teeth taken out i just watched ddg's video of him getting his wisdom teeth removed and he was in so much pain he was put under anesthesia as so am i also getting anesthesia and i'm not looking forward to that so i'm going to bring you guys along so you can see my journey what i go through and the process of everything so it's going to be both wisdom teeth on each side and um yeah so let's do this after i get my teeth pulled i think i'm going to go pick up some things and then i'm going to come back home so i'll just vlog my whole day so you guys can see what i'm doing but yeah i'm late so i'll come back and talk to you guys Good morning guys. Today is a new day. I just woke up so excuse my appearance right now. But I just woke up. I got some coffee going and I am just I'm about to go wash my face, brush my teeth. Today I'm going to try to replicate productive morning routine. Now today I did wake up a little late. I woke up around 7.40 but you know I'm trying here, people. I'm not an early, early bird unless I really, really have to get up in the morning for something or someone or if there's really importance, then I'll get up. Ultimately want them eventually. I want to like acquire these types of skills and these types of habits and these types of routines. So enough rambling, I'm gonna go wash my face. Just rolled out of bed literally. It's um, now eight o'clock. So I'm a little bit behind schedule, but First thing on the schedule today is coffee. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my day. Subscribe, like, and comment. All right guys, I'm gonna go get situated and I'll be back. As the sun was rising on the 4th of April, days and weeks and years have been by passing. I was stuck in this no being too faithful, so young and dumb. Hey, good morning. What's up, guys? And today is January 23rd. Today is Thursday. As you can tell from the beginning of this vlog, I did not feel like working out. I woke up, vlogged, and then I went for a run. I told you guys I wanted to do the Renee Amberg routine, her productive morning routine. So I started off by waking up this morning late. <laughs> I'm going to still go on with the day. I'm going to try to really execute her routine, you know, I wanna do everything that she did today, even if I don't feel like doing it, I'm gonna to try to do it. She wakes up at six, so that was the first fail. I woke up at 7.40. After I woke up, I made some coffee, and I was like, hmm, I'm not gonna read. I'll just listen to some Audible. I ended up reading this book here. 
that's a really good book so i ended up reading for about 15 to 20 minutes of that but then once i got off camera and i started um putting my clothes on to work out i was like you know what you gotta push yourself out of your comfort zone just because you don't feel like doing something doesn't mean you shouldn't do it so I was like, okay, I plan to vlog today and to do the routine like her. So I'm gonna do what she does. So that made me like change my mindset and was like, push yourself, even if you don't wanna do it. And I did. So I went for a run. I did a two mile run and I, my Apple Watch came in handy for that because I was able to track my time, my mileage and everything like that. And actually I'm gonna be recording me get ready for the day. So I was able to set that up while I was making my breakfast. And also last night, what I did was I made a list of everything I wanted to get done today. This is like my daily routine list that I tried that I made last night because I wanted to try to make it my own way. You know, I wanted to do her same concept and her organization skills, but I wanted to make it my own realistic routine. So I wanted to wake up at six o'clock, get coffee and read for 30 minutes as she did. But I woke up at seven, as I mentioned. So then that was from six o'clock. And at 6.30 to 6.45, I was supposed to work out and go for 30 minutes, which I ran for 25 minutes. My run was a little struggle struggle because I haven't ran in like months. So I did, have to, I did have to stop a few times, but I did run for 25 minutes. From 11 o'clock, I'm gonna take a lunch and I can do anything I want for an hour um, during my lunch. Like I can take a nap, I can take a break from work. That is from 11 o'clock, but as you know, it's 10.30 now. I did wake up late, so I'm gonna start like an hour from the time that it says here. And then after my lunch break for an hour, I'm going back to work for about four hours, four to five hours. And then I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna eat dinner or a snack and then I'm gonna plan for the next day, take a shower, brush my teeth and get ready for bed. That's the order. This is just like a guide in case there's something on her list that I don't do, I can do my list. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna finish up my breakfast. I'm gonna film, that's gonna be part of my work. I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me. And then I'm gonna take a lunch break after I film. I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go back to work which is gonna be editing. Let's see how this goes. I really am excited about this because I wanna see how productive I can be in a day when I schedule things out to do and try to get it done. And it's just very satisfying to just check things off your list and say I did it, I did it, I did it. So I'm gonna go check two things off my list which was waking up and reading and then working out for 30 minutes yeah like if you're liking this vlog so far go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'm gonna go ahead and start doing um some work after i finish my breakfast well, i will catch back up with you guys in a little while Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back. I just finished filming my video for today. I did a makeup, hair, and outfit. Look at my outfit, y'all. It looks so cute. All right, so this is my outfit. Looks really cute. This is my outfit I was gonna actually wear on a date the other night, but yeah, I didn't make it to that date. The shoes are kind of off, so I probably won't get the shoes in the outfit. Everything else is cute, so. Yeah, I finished making my video for today. I did three in one makeup, hair, and outfit. I really like the way my my um makeup came out today. And make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna post them over there so you guys can check them out. I feel so accomplished right now. I'll just give you an update on my um list. I did my work, so now it's about to be my lunch break. So I'm gonna take lunch at one o'clock. It's 12:35 right now. So once I take some pictures. I'm gonna let my camera charge for like five or 10 minutes. I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna edit everything. And hopefully I'm gonna post it. If not today, I'm gonna schedule it to go up for, no, I'm gonna probably schedule it to go up today before eight o'clock. 
fingers crossed i'm so excited for today i feel so productive another thing that i'm starting to do incorporate in my life is being more feminine um you know just classy more um this outfit is not that classy but it's not that bad either because i mean it's a look you know what i mean <laughs> so i probably would wear different shoes with it high black boots or something but yeah i think i am going to change to that for the pictures actually so i'm going to change my boots to black i have black and gold so it'll go better with my outfit but yeah guys i'm feeling super good today um feeling super productive so far yeah i'm rambling right now so i'm gonna go hey guys oh, what's up so it is the end of the day and um the time is now nine o'clock p.m i wanted to come back on and close the vlog out and let you guys know that i was successful at completing everything on my to-do list i was able to work for eight hours straight take breaks take lunch i was able to work out so i really feel like that's going to be a very effective routine for me if i can just plan out my days the night the night before but i just finished doing everything i just stepped out and got some dinner i'm having some shrimp tacos some rice and chicken so yeah i'm about to enjoy that watch some youtube <clears throat> enjoy my meal but i wanted to come back on i done took off my makeup i done took everything off y'all today was a long day i had i had some crazy things i had to deal with today but all is well all is well i'm gonna strive for a better day tomorrow and yeah i'm gonna plan out the rest of my day after i finish eating and um editing some stuff post the video that i edit tomorrow and that's about it so i feel very very proud of myself that i was able to accomplish everything that i wanted to so i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog for today i hope you guys are having a great day or had a productive day with me and i hope to see you guys in my next vlog until next time guys peace and dopeness <laughs>